My whole life is combat. My whole life has been physical. I mean, I'm a weapon, but I also train people to be weapons. I teach them how to be like me, and if they can't necessarily be like me physically, I teach them how they can mentally have the same mindset, be the best that you can be, be yourself, and don't apologize to anybody for it. It's super frustrating being me. <laughs> I don't know, like it is. I'm super blessed. Um, you know, I, I wake up every day and I'm like, man, I can walk and I can see. Like, blessing. I try not to complain about my life at all. I went into the army for about four years. And then after the military, I joined Raven 2-2, which later became Harold Group. With them, I've done everything from professional security to going into Tibet or Guatemala on rescue missions. And I've protected high dollar targets many times. I was a two-time national champion for Team USA kickboxing. Most people haven't seen the world through my eyes. I've always been training, fighting. It's my life. It's hard to connect and open up with people. I have this physical demeanor, and then it's like it just throws people off that I'm a human, like that I'm actually a genuine person with feelings. I think when you're younger, it's like you want to be loved, and then when you get older, it's like, who is out there that you can just be yourself around and just be you and it be totally okay? Come here, baby. Come here, my nose. I do all of it, boxing, Muay Thai, kickboxing, jiu-jitsu. I ride horses, I show horses, I do, you know, English riding, jumping. So I basically have a ton of jobs. You know there ain't no escaping me. You know we move like an agency. Immediately when you see a firearm, whether it's pointed at you, whether you're looking at it, you immediately respect it. People, regardless of how they feel about me or my appearance, immediately it's like, I gotta respect it. When people look at guns who don't know how to use them, they're intimidated, they're scared. Just like when people look at me, they're intimidated or they're scared. And I don't get it. The gun, if it had feelings, probably doesn't get it either. To the bad, to the bad, to the bad, to Once you have training and you have the right instructions and you feel comfortable, then it becomes a tool that you can use to protect yourself and protect your family. One thing I'm trying to you know figure out with people is why they're scared of guns. Is there any common ground? Can we, can we meet in the middle somewhere? I care about people. I want to protect people. And I would think that everyone else would want to protect the ones they love at whatever the cost. My name is Shelby. I studied music in school, too, so Nashville obviously had a draw for that. And then just really fell in love with the city and obviously met the love of my life here, so that's a bonus. I'm a design director. I do music as well. That's kind of what brought us together. I've been introduced to some individuals that I'm going to get to meet uh, who are gun hesitant and scared of firearms. And I want to go bring them into my world and what I do and hopefully get rid of some misconceptions of firearms and ultimately the fear of firearms. Hey guys, how are you doing? Jeff, Jeff pleasure, Gavin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Shelby. Shelby, pleasure. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate you guys. What makes you hesitant about just saying, let's get a gun, let's take classes, let's do this. What do you think maybe stopped you guys from that? I've thought about it, you know, multiple yeah. times, but it's also like Googling, you know, like, okay, what classes can we take? Yeah. And even that feels overwhelming. So, you know, there's just a lot. I mean, it's just not, it's not in our world at all. People who are in that atmosphere, in that field, sometimes we expect everybody else to be like us. You don't have to be. It's about feeling safe and feeling yeah. protected. I think learning to shoot a gun sounds exciting to me. It's something I've always wanted to do. I think there's just been apprehension of not knowing how to get involved in that world, like where to start. Like I've never known anybody like you that would, could even introduce me to that. So definitely feel just the weight of responsibility now, yeah. just being newly married and, and definitely feeling like I need to be able to protect. Yeah. I think that would definitely make her feel more 
assured. Well, because the love's clearly there. That's no yeah. problem. That's the beautiful thing. But one of my favorite sayings was, would you rather be a warrior in a garden or a gardener in a war? I think you'd rather be in a garden than a war. Mm -hmm. Me too. There's this whole narrative that's going around right now and it absolutely drives me crazy. One side it's like, oh, toxic masculinity. Don't be too much of a man. Don't be too strong. Don't work out and take care of yourself. Don't fire guns. And then on the other side of that, you have those like almost annoying guys, bearded, tatted, and they're like, gun this, gun that. And it's super intimidating and it creates this facade that like you have to be one of those guys in order to own a firearms. And that's like the biggest misconception ever. So it's like you have these two sides that are equally stupid. When in all reality, it's you be you, I can be me. We we can both own firearms and it both does the same thing because it is the great equalizer. As a newlywed gift, I want to have you guys come train with us and teach y'all about firearms. My goal is to get you guys totally comfortable with picking up a firearm, handling a firearm, having one in your home to add that extra layer of security to your lives. What do you say? That would be yeah, incredible. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Wow, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. I'm also going to go meet Angie. She's also gun hesitant, so I'd like to talk to her and see what events have happened in her life and see if there's some common ground that we can come up with. And then I'm also going to invite her to come train and see if we can get her not as scared of firearms. I grew up in East Tennessee, rural area. Lots of country, lots of farmland. I could drive a tractor before I could drive a car. My dad trying to teach me to shoot, but I think that the gun kicked me back so far that it scared me and kind of left that impression on me where I was just nervous around guns after that. The way country folk do it out there, he probably gave you a 12 gauge, the, <laughs> shot, the shotgun I would yeah. assume. Have you been put in a position where you wish you had a firearm or knew how to defend yourself? Oh, for sure. I mean, especially being a female, you know, walking my dog at night or walking around the streets. You wish you had protection, and if I had it, I wish I, you know, knew how to use it. But one of the experiences that scared me was, you know, living through the, through the Vegas shooting. Um, I was working that festival. I had thankfully left the festival, went back to the hotel, um, but was in the Mandalay Bay, just eight floors below the shooter, and could see what was going on down below, see people hitting the ground. And me and my friend were hunkered down between the two beds in the room, just praying that we were gonna get through the night and, and about the people that were down there. If you had the knowledge of a weapon and you had a gun on you, do you think it would add more fear or do you think it would build this level of confidence and equalizer of, okay, yes, I'm gonna be scared, but I'm trained, I have my weapon. I think I would definitely feel safer and more confident with a gun if I knew how to use it. Um, right. So, I'm a pretty independent person, so I want to be able to protect myself. Yeah. One last thing for you, though. I would like to invite you to come train with me so we can teach you a lot about firearms. That would be amazing. When I asked them the reason that they didn't have a firearm, most of them was lack of know-how. They said, you know, it's the lack of education on firearms. I don't feel comfortable enough to go purchase one, and I wouldn't know where to start. Here in the United States, we have a beautiful freedom, and it's the right to bear arms. And I think it's something that's severely misunderstood. And at the end of the day, it is all your choice. But if that freedom is there, it's good to be educated. And now that you would have the confidence to bear your arms because you are free to do so. Now I'm gonna go meet up with my friend, Kristen. She's a trainer here in town and specializes in teaching beginners. I'm excited about Angie, Jeff, and Shelby meeting her and being introduced properly to firearms. Plus, she's an absolute badass. So I've got a couple people that I met. They are very curious about firearms. They just lack the education and they wouldn't know where to start. Mm -hmm. So that's why we came to you. Awesome. New shooters are my favorite. I'm so glad that they met you and that we can work with them and help them, you know, get more comfortable and familiar with guns. Well, I'm so excited all of you are here. You know, it can be really intimidating to walk into a gun shop. You might be feeling some of that today. It's a whole nother language and just a different vibe. There's always the fear of the unknown, right? And guns are a serious thing. They can have serious, you know, ramifications and consequences. 
but that doesn't mean that learning about them um, needs to be scary. There's something really empowering about saying, I can protect myself, and I, I don't have to be afraid of the world, and I don't need someone else to have to protect me, but I can protect myself. In the real world, you don't rise to the occasion. You fall to the level of your training. Every bit of it comes back to training, constantly training. You guys were so good. I'm so proud of you. How do you all feel? Great. Great. Good. We wanted to just thank you guys so much for coming. We all wanted to continue your journey. So I actually have stuff for you all. What? Oh my gosh. All right, so this is for the couple. That's why it's a little thicker. And these are to continue your training, and there's some lessons with Kristen here. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> that is so awesome. I'm always training, I'm always a student, I'm always learning, and this is just the beginning for you guys. Well, guys, we, uh, did some training today. I had a lot of fun with you all. I hope you all had a good time as well. Yeah, so great. how'd you guys feel about training? Give me like initial thoughts. I loved it. I, I was really comfortable. I thought Kristen did a really great job just walking us through it. I was excited to finally get to shoot. Yeah. It was fun. In the beginning, the, uh, the shooting that we were hearing next door, it caught me off guard when I first heard it. The more I heard it, the you know less it bothered me. By the time we were shooting, I was I was ready to ready to go. You did a phenomenal job with Thank that, you. handling that. You did very good. And I think hopefully you grew from that personally as well. Like not just what we're trying to train you to do, but you grew and hopefully can kind of put that behind you. You are all different in a lot of ways from just social life, life, personalities, which I think that's the beautiful thing that kind of unites us all. And I'm sure it's heck different from all, all of you three, <laughs> you know, like I'm on that other side. There is kind of a stigma about gun owners and, you know, even walking into a gun store, like, you know, that felt intimidating to me. Like, I don't belong here. I'm definitely not the stereotypical gun owner. It's if I can do it, you can do it too. And it's like, <laughs> in this time in our country, it really is important to know about it and to be able to still have that right. You're also not a violent person, which is a good thing. That's not a bad thing. I come off very violent, I'm not. But I thought that was the coolest thing to see with you was you kind of come alive. Number one, you were good. Like you did really, you did really well. But I saw this kind of light in your eyes kind of as you kind of come out and you're like, cool, man, I, and I did great. And it feels good to accomplish that because you did do awesome. Just being in there today and seeing different, all different people, you know, makes me feel more comfortable walking in that situation next time. Like, hey, I can walk into a gun store and feel more comfortable here. But I feel like all of us walking in walked yeah. in very different than we walked out, right? Yeah. We walked in very intimidated and timid. And when we walked out, we were laughing and smiling yeah. and we felt so much more confident just being in the store itself. Yeah. I felt like having Kristen too, a woman for us, helped us see that girls can have guns and girls can be badass shooters too, right? So that, that definitely helped a lot. Confidence is king, baby. You know what I mean? It's the, it really is. And I'm very happy for you all to have that is your right, your God-given right. It is the fact that you want to protect what's yours and I want to protect what's mine. And if we have shared interests, we're protecting each other. It's important to remember that we're all human. We're all just trying to figure out what's going on and how to get through life. We're all on different walks. We all go through moments, some joyful and some difficult. But when we take the time to step out of our comfort zones and think about that other person and try to understand who they are, what they're scared of, what do they care about? And when we confront our own fears, we mature and then walk into the world with more confidence. Through this process, we can always find common ground.